Welcome to Gopher Green Living. My name is Daniel. And today I have a special video about a super plant <laughs> that I wanted to tell y'all about and, and make sure that you had it in your garden uh, because you don't want to be without this. This is called Mountain Mint. Uh, I'm going to butcher the Latin name uh, Picnogium. 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 <laughs> Picnogium. You know. <laughs> I put it on the screen. <laughs> but anyway, so the first thing about it, it's absolutely beautiful. This is an absolute beautiful mint. It's in the mint family. Uh, of course it is because it, it's got the square uh, trunk and you know things with square trunks it's, it's uh, you know pretty much guaranteed that they're mint. They're in the mint family. <laughs> but uh, the second thing is, besides it's beautiful, you wouldn't believe how much every insect seems to love this plant. They're all over it, constantly. They're all over it. I mean, you just take a second, look. Look at this, how they're all over it. I mean, things I've never seen before. Butterflies, you know, beautiful butterflies. Uh, there's one of them on there that's got fake legs on the back of his wings that move them back and forth. <laughs> He's trying to fix Beauty somebody. didn't sell you on this plant. Let me give you a couple of facts about it that will sell you on it. <laughs> because it's like bee, bee, uh, bee heaven to the bees and, and the butterflies and everything loves the mountain mint. Uh, if you put these around your garden, imagine that, that, that they would bring in pollinators to your garden, you know, to help out, you know, make sure everything got pollinated good because they're being brought in by this, uh, uh, mountain mint. Now, listen to this. It's also a deer repellent. <laughs> you're going to bring in the pollinators. You're going to have beauty. And it's also a deer repellent. <laughs> there you go. Win, 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 win. Now, they call this uh, the wild mint uh, the wild basil uh, because it has such an interesting flavor. I, it's good in soups, it's good in salads, it's good seasoning meat, especially venison, especially venison. It's going to do a really good job uh, seasoning up your venison. You know, take, bring out the gaming flavor. Yeah, this uh, this plant, I, I've sat and watched it for a little bit, and I know y'all are just sitting there watching it too. It's brought in hornets and horse flies, <laughs> regular flies. Uh, all kinds of wasps that I've never seen before. <laughs> bees, my bees. My bees have been coming. Uh, there goes one right there. <laughs> one of my bees, he's coming. Uh, so. Excellent as a deer repellent, a pollinator. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, you can make a tea out of it. Uh, very good tea. You know, it's, it's better dried. The leaves are dried. Uh, you know, you can take one of the leaves and use it as a breath freshener. <laughs> so you come along, you know, grab one of the leaves, and then you chomp on it, and you know, and it freshens your breath. <laughs> so this is just an all-around wonderful mint that you should consider planting in your garden. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you, and I'll catch you on the next video. Ani Ove Aten, means I love you in Hebrew. Later, guys. <laughs>